Hey folks, welcome back to Trailmakers, the vehicle building game that lets you make whatever you want uh, with a wide variety of parts and lets you be as silly and ridiculous as you want to be. I'm, I'm enjoying the game so far. I don't know about you. We're going to get right back into it here. Uh, we have built now a, uh, a mobile boat kind of deal and made our way over to this island. Now, this still doesn't really turn around very well. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Probably there is, but I don't know what it is. Let's get up on the on land here. Swap over to the Skulldozer here. And let's take a look at the map. Let's see what parts are available. So, 26 meters and 41 meters. We do have some, some things available to us up to the right here. So, let's see if we can figure out. I see one of them. So, I don't think we can climb up this. Maybe we go the long way around here. Oops. Oops. Oh, that's not good. Rebuild. <laughs> Let's see. If we come around the corner... One nice thing about this machine is it's got those four engines, so it goes pretty fast. All right, we can get some, uh, some height here. So right off the bat, we've got... I think this looks like a power core. Let's just give this a little nudge. Oh, it's a tail fin. Okay. Let's give that a little bitty push. Let's watch where it goes. I think it goes into the water. Oh, no. Okay, so it went into the water, and then it got auto-reset. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and quickly throw a tractor beam on the front of the killdozer, just temporarily. We can do that. That'll work. Uh, if we enable the... Block input, we can see that the E key or the LB key will do the job here. All right. There we go. So we're going to grab the tail fin here. Take it down and submit it. And then we'll head back up this way for whatever the second thing is. And then I guess we'll probably uh, hop in the boat and head over to yet another island. All right, so the tail fin seems like it would be made for an airplane, right? Yeah, that's definitely an airplane tail fin. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to need the tractor beam here or not, so let's leave it on for the moment. Head back around and up. Uh, pretty, pretty standard fare in terms of the, uh, landscape here. From what I can tell, everything is the same. It's all islands of rock, palm trees, grass, and bushes. But maybe, maybe there's, um, I know there's other maps in the game in the sandbox mode. Maybe there's uh, a couple islands that have some different, um, I guess you'd call it a biome, right? Uh, here's our other part. We can snag this with our tractor beam. Possibly. It's a power core. All right. Let's push that out. There we go. All right. There's the power core. Oh, no. What happened? Ah. Uh, all right. Reset. We'll try again. I guess we went too fast off the edge there. All right. Let's take this little lip gently so I'm having trouble okay I'm having trouble driving I think because yeah the the power core is interfering it's it's got my wheels up off the ground my front wheels so let's uh, blocks unlocked wings and tail fins lift according to speed stability and air resistance fine let's go ahead and uh, select this and move it up just a little bit and uh, See if we get better control. Yeah, a little bit better there. Right, where am I going here? Okay, so let's get down to the recovery drone. Carefully, slowly. Now, one other thing I could have done here is built uh, some sort of contraption to lift it off the ground with the tractor, right? I could use pistons to lower something down, pick it up, and then 
uh, lift it up off the ground. But it looks like I'm not going to need to do that here. We've got enough kind of gentle slopes that I can just bring this over. This is going to be our sixth power core. Okay. Let's get that delivered. This power core is required for your spaceship. Okay. Now, uh, if we take a look at the map, the next thing we want to do, this is salvage below me. Um, one meter below me, we could probably get that one. That's probably on the surface. So why don't we set a beacon here, and let's hop into the boat. I do, I am curious. Hmm. I do want to see if I can improve. Let me, hold on. Uh, let me swap over to the boat. I want to see if I can improve the turning performance here by moving these things out a little bit to the side. So, all right, let me switch over to the mouse and keyboard here. Uh, let's temporarily turn off the block input keys. And I just want to move them out to the side. So let's move that out and let's move this out. And let's just put some additional blocks in place here. Uh, let's see, a two by four? No, I think a one by two, a couple of one by twos will do it, do the trick. Uh, all right, let's rotate this, like so. Move it in, okay, then we'll copy it out. That looks good. Uh, let's color these correctly. There we go, then we will uh, mark that complete, copy this. Send this over here. Okay, that looks good. Then we bring these in, attach them. All right, so we have a wider base now. So I feel like we should have a little bit of a better opportunity or a little bit of a better ability to turn here. Because I'm assuming when I go left, like the this one shuts down and this one keeps going. Not sure about that, but let's save this. And let's uh, hop into the water and see how it does. It still doesn't have a great turning radius, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure how to. So if I turn right, they're both still firing. So I'm not sure what the steering mechanism is. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably put them on hinges. What if I put them on hinges so that when I turn them... Uh, okay, that could work. Hold on. Let's try this out. All right, so let's get, um, let's actually remove this block. Let's delete that and let's get one of the hinges here. Um, steering hinge, limited angle of rotation, perfect for wheels. Uh, I think we do want this. Let's take this. Uh, let me see if I can uh, figure out how this works. Um, so we need to rotate it like so. And then pop it on here. That looks good. Okay. Let's get that painted. Uh, let's copy it. Move it over to the other side. Uh, we need to delete this block. We need to rotate this. Right? Move it in. Like that. Okay, so now the propellers are on hinges. Let's see how that works. So I just click anything, save. Okay, let's see how this behaves. So now, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of reversed. Let me see. Yeah, it's reversed at the moment. So, I, I would press left to go to the right. It doesn't quite... Oh, okay, so there's a little bit of a... Huh. So it still just kind of pushes me through the water here. So if I turn left, 
it eventually curves around. And then I can... Okay, so basically what I want to do is turn. It's got like a weird little kick. And then un un stop turning and move forward. Okay, I can, I can make that work. Here's a wedge. Okay. We've got, we've got the wedge. We'll take this over. Yeah, that does work a little bit better. It's a little awkward. It's not exactly how I thought it would work. But I guess the problem is I don't have a rudder, right? Oh, I could make a rudder. I could make a rudder. So instead of hinging the, um, instead of hinging the propellers, I could build a rudder onto the ship. I could try that. Okay. Ah, no. Come back. Dang it. Can I snag that with this? I don't think so. Nope. All right. We have to try that again. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try putting a rudder on here. All right. So uh, we're going to take out the hinges because they're they're not working exactly the way I want. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of them. Let's see. So. We'll get rid of you. Actually, I can control and double click to get both of them. Delete them. Uh, we can bring the propellers in. That's fine. And then on the back of the ship, we put a hinge, right? Uh, not balance. Lift and drag. Mechanic. So we put a steering hinge like this. And then I guess... We get a block like this. Um, what do we have that's aerodynamic? We have a we have a tail fin. Let's see. How would I make this happen? So if we want this to be a wedge that, or a, or a rudder rather, we need it upside down and we need it facing like this, right? And then we need something to attach it to. So on the hinge, we'll throw another one of these, like that. And then we'll grab this and put it underneath. Like that. So that would technically be kind of a rudder, like a weird rudder, but maybe it'll work. <laughs> uh, let's color everything and we'll see how this, we'll see how this behaves. Uh, let's, yeah, let's save it. All right, let's see how this works. So, if I turn the hinge, the whole rear section is actually turning here. Not just not just the rudder. Uh, the lights as well. That's kind of not exactly what I had in mind. I guess it's yeah, I guess it's all attached. But let's let's give it a shot. Let's go out there. That's actually amazingly that that actually works. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got a makeshift rudder made out of a tail fin. I guess the physics engine here is pretty solid for that to work. The whole rear of the ship turns, though. That's a little bit weird. All right, let's see if we can grab this wedge. Okay, we've got we've got it tractored. Let's turn around. Yeah, it actually turns pretty dang pretty dang well, especially at slower speeds. Uh, I do have it reversed though. So I'd probably want to fix that. All right, let's get this over to the beach and try not to lose it this time. So I got to push right to go left at the moment. Okay. Now it's still gonna it's still gonna roll down, isn't it? Um. I'll try to get it before... Okay, whatever that was, that's fine. That actually kicked it onto the beach with some kind of weird reaction. I'm fine with that because it didn't roll into the water. All right, let's grab the wedge. Take it over here. So we have the tail fin and the wedge. That's an aerodynamic block, I guess. We don't really have everything we need for an airplane yet. We don't have any wings. But there we go. There's the 2x4 wedge unlocked. Uh, let's swap over here, and I'm just going to real quick, uh, I am going to go to the control section for the, the hinge here, and I'm going to reverse these. 
How do I reverse these? Steering, help, strength, angle, speed. All right, so let me, uh, okay, so tools, configurator. All right, so right here you can see in this view when the, when the controller is dominant, we want um, left here and right here. Or actually, let's put this back. There's a better way to do it, actually, now that I think about it, which is just to turn this thing upside down. So we've got the red on the on the on this side. If we flip it like that, now the green is on this side. So that should actually fix my problem just fine. Let's save that. Uh, let's try. Let's get that into the water. I guess. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I guess we'll go over to Buoy Island here. Okay, and now now it's steering exactly the way I want. All right, very cool. Yeah, as a as a like as an engineer, uh, being able to use all these different blocks to solve puzzles and make the make the vehicles behave the way I want, really really rewarding and interesting. Very interesting build system they've got here. And obviously, it's got a lot of depth to it that we haven't plumbed yet, uh, but very cool so far. And I'm eager to unlock more parts. Let's take a quick. Oh, wait a minute. What are you? Are you a chicken? In the water? I think you are. Yeah, we're slower because of the water, but we're still gonna get you, chicken. <laughs> okay, so there's a wide ford here, or well, it's not really a ford because it's not a river and there's not another side, but there's a wide uh, sandbank here. Um, let's actually take a look at today's challenges. Download a structure or complete a race. All right, don't care about those. Let's uh, circumnavigate the island here. Ooh, we got a very steep, uh, steep edge there. So it's almost more of a sand sandbar here. Um, and it does look as though there's no, yeah, we have a problem, which is that there's no, uh, oh, there's the buoyancy control device. There's no drone here to turn this into on this spit of land. So what we're gonna need here, I think, is we're gonna need to use one of the blueprints. Uh, I, I'm very much enjoying building my own vehicles, but in this case, we do have the, uh, this thing, which is the, it's a dual, it's a dual device. It's supposed to be both, wait a minute. Is it not working? Yeah, okay, so we've got, it's got pontoons, and I'm pretty sure it's got uh, propellers underneath it. Looks like it has a, uh, a tractor beam as well. No, it's, it's, got, it's got lights coming out. Let's actually take a look at this in the designer. So it's got one propeller, a bunch of buoys on it or pontoons, and the, 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 uh, the, uh, the wheels as well. So if we throw, you know what, if we just make a few quick changes here, this will be a viable vehicle for us. Obviously we need some lights. Uh, let's get some lights on here. Uh, let's get those turned around like that. Let's copy that. Okay. Let's get you in place correctly. Okay. Uh, let's copy you here. There we go. And copy you here. Okay. And then we'll copy you here. Uh, push you over one there, rotate you around, so you're facing out. All right. Let's get a copy of you here. Uh, yeah, that's not quite what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, so we've got some lights in front of us and ahead of us. Uh, let's get a copy there and move that to like here. Copy this, move this over here, okay. Uh, let's get a couple more. I mean, they're they're free, right? So why not? I don't know if we have a block limit. I guess I guess they contribute to the weight, which is fine. And then let's have a couple facing backwards. Oh, uh, copy, copy. Okay, that works. And then, what do we have? We have something to hovering off the ground. There we go, there we go. 
All right, all, there, there's a bunch of lights for us, and let's throw a tractor beam on the front somewhere. Uh, nice and high. What is this? Aerodynamics? We've got the wedge. So this is mainly just to allow us to pick it up on land and then take it down to the water. Let's see what we can do here. That should work and should bring it up high enough that it stays attached. All right, let's save that to... Uh, I guess... I guess uh, Amphibian 1 or Amphibian. This is using the uh, blueprint that the game gave us, but uh, we've modified it obviously for our own needs. All right, let's drive this. Let's see if we can take it down to the water and over to the pickup drone. Looks like this is gonna work. Uh, this shallow shelf here actually works well for us. Let's just transition to the water quite easily. Our single propeller should get the job done. Okay, looks good. And with the buoyancy control device, I believe we can now make ourselves uh, a sub to go underwater. I might be wrong about that, but we can check it out. Alright, this is getting the this is, this is getting us there. Now comes the moment of truth. Let's slow down a little bit, just so we don't destroy the thing. And there we go. Okay. Buoyancy control unlocked. Alright. Well, in that case, uh, let's swap over to Mr. Mr. Fish here. And what what happened to Oh, his uh his fin was below the ground. All right, let's let's modify this. So we're gonna take off uh, all of the buoyant, uh, all the pontoons. All the pontoons go away. Right? Uh, I think we want to move this up a little bit. Maybe. Not quite sure how we're gonna do that. So at this moment, we're just a okay. We can take off these. All right, so now we got the two propellers and our rudder on a hinge. Um, if we get rid of this and just have this attached like that, yeah, okay. Then I think we can take this whole assembly here and we can do something like this. Let me go to the blocks here and get this. Uh, let's rotate this like so, pop that there. And then attach the rudder like oh no let me let me grab the whole thing uh there we go let's grab the whole thing here push this in okay so there's our rudder and then we just need the buoyancy control device let's uh let's color our blocks let's color everything maybe that's the easiest way to do it just like click on everything yeah save that okay uh, we do have our... Now, I don't think we need quite the height if we're going to have a submarine here. The question is going to be, how do we get back on land once we find something, right? How are we going to do that? Well, let's at least go explore the briny depths. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the buoyancy control device. Weight block with adjustable buoyancy. Let's stick this on probably near the center of mass, right? We probably stick it right under the seat. So, let's just uh, attach it like this, I guess. It's not attached. What's the problem? Where does it, how does it work? Where does it attach? Does it have to sit on top of something, or? No, it just has, it, it only has one side. Okay. Uh, all right, so we select everything, color it. Save. Okay, so there's our buoyancy control device. Um, how does this work? Up and down? Sure enough. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's save this as a new vehicle. Uh, so this is no longer Monsieur Fish. We'll save this as... Uh, what's a deep sea fish? Uh, <laughs> or, 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 well, let's call him Monsieur Sub instead of Monsieur Fish. That works for me. 
Now, possibly, if we can bring something up to the surface, we can quickly swap over to uh, another vehicle and enable the traction device. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, let's try it out. So obviously we got to get in the water first. Where's something down deep? Down over here? Yeah, 26 meters below me. One meter below me. Uh, all right, let's go for let's go for this one. Let's take a look. So we're gonna get in the water here. Switch over to oh I need to I forgot to assign it. All right, so. Monsieur Fish, Monsieur Sub, I guess, will be here. And then, in case we need it, we'll throw uh, the amphibian one up on there. Okay. So now, we switch over to Monsieur Sub. Um. Let's see. Well, Monsieur Sub does not appear to be working correctly. Okay, that does leave a little gap there, but I'm okay with that if this works. So now the buoyancy control device is higher up. Uh, we can lower the center of mass even more if we... if we have to. Uh, probably the best way to do that is to move this assembly down. Like so, I guess. In fact, at that point, we don't even, uh, we don't even need this block. That block can go away. And our rudder can just be attached directly to the rear, like that. Okay, let's color everything and try it out. Monsieur Sub. Alright, Monsieur Sub, take two. Let's see how it works. So, I think we might not have enough buoyancy. I'm not sure. Let me... Let's take a look here. So, now we should have a stable floating... Uh, sub, I guess, which can go up and down. It's probably too much buoyancy here. More than we need. But maybe this will be stable? And maybe we can use it to, uh, to do stuff. Now, we still have the problem of how to mount... I guess... I guess we'd have to... Go like this, and then pop the uh, the tractor on there. Let's get the gadget here. Uh, let's see, which way is that facing? I think that's the wrong way. There we go, that's facing forward. So now we have the tractor in addition to everything else. All right. Let's save Monsieur Sub. Let's give him a shot. Okay, he's stable. We can drive him. And if I press the down button, Yes, we start to sink. Oh, it's very, very sensitive. It's very sensitive. It's not easy to... So if I press it down just a little bit, we start to sink, and then we, we start... We're nose-heavy, it looks like, is the problem. We're nose-heavy. Okay, so we need we need weight adjustment. Uh, okay, so these are like 2.5... Okay, so a 2x4 is 2.5 kilograms. The gadget here is 7.5 kilograms. Okay. You know what we could do? All right, let's try let's do the, let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and put another one on the back in the exact same location, right? Maybe that'll help. Uh, let's clone this. Pop one on the back. Why not? Right? So now it should be balanced exactly right. Okay, if we go underwater, now the back is heavy. Well, okay, I think I think that's the gif right there, right? <laughs> that's the gif right there that uh, that answers the whole episode. All right, uh, I'm not sure whether it's because I don't have the diving bell or if I just can't get the uh, if I have to get the center of mass like perfectly right. I, I just don't know, but uh, I'm gonna have to call the episode there. Uh, I don't know how much of this I will have kept in, but if I skipped a bunch, basically I spent almost the entire episode trying to get this to work and failing miserably. Uh, anytime I go below the water, the thing just unbalances and it's a nightmare. So uh, anyway, 
Uh, puzzling around with it is uh, intellectually stimulating for me. I don't know how much fun it is to watch. Probably not much. I will probably need to uh, remove quite a bit of this. Uh, I probably have removed quite a bit of it. But uh, in the next episode, uh, we will go somewhere else, do something else, maybe find that diving bell and use their, uh, use their example submarine to uh, learn as much as we can about why our build failed here. Uh, until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my flailing engineering attempts here to build a, a sub. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.